Hi everyone, I'm glad to see you back. Today I will guide you how to install paint protection film on rear doors. So let's begin. Car is already cleaned, uh, washed, clay barred. If you don't know how to do that, watch my old videos. I show this like a few times, many, many times. And yeah, that's why this time I'm gonna skip this step. Um, yeah, panel is clean. Let's start with wiping it with alcohol. Wipe it down, alcohol. Spray on the panel, on the ring. I already cleaned this panel very well. I, every single gap is clean. This was just final kind of touch. Now let's use our slip solution. And as always, I will have my tools with me. Before I will start installing paint protection film, I want to show you how we're going to do it. I want to explain. Um, this time we're doing rear doors, not the front doors and all the time you can open the doors and check this part and as you see it's one piece clear coated it means we're gonna wrap around this edge uh, some cars have kind of sharp edge or it's uh, rubber on double side tape in this case in that case we will kind of cut straight on the edge but in this specific scenarios we will wrap around this edge because we want to cover this edge if we can um, Next to the chrome bit, uh, depend on you, depend on the car, sometimes you can remove it. This time we're leaving, because um, this goes, come together, it's together all, all around with this piece, and it's no point for PPF, it's no point to remove it doing paint protection film. Door handle, I prefer to take it off, uh, especially on to cars like this, it's uh, super easy to do it, it's only one clip from inside, you use a hook, un unclip it, unhook it, and, and that's it. Uh, other cars, for example, Porsche Panamera, it's very difficult to remove door handles. You need to discuss with customer if he allows you to disassemble entire panel door trim from inside the car. Um, yeah, this is up to you and up to customer Mark. You need to discuss with him and get, you know, permission from customer. Okay, uh, yeah. On this edge, we're wrapping around this edge. I will trim on this uh, quarter panel edge all the way there and we're gonna wrap around bottom we have this kind of plastic part like together with the doors um, I will trim just there on this kind of panel edge and then we're gonna tap this film behind this panel same as we done it on the front doors so let's start installation we have our slip solution just wanna blow dust from this gap. For PPF insulation, I'm using a lot of water, a lot of water. Okay, now let's spray on the entire panel. Spray on the wheel, all around, on the floor. Probably you already know that if you follow our YouTube channel, you know that PPF is very static. And to reduce this, uh, uh, this static effect, you need to spray water. Okay, I have this piece ready for doors. Come on. Okay, now I will spray slip solution on both sides and then I will start, you know, I will need help just to remove backing paper and lay this panel on the doors. So film is already on the panel, let's spray our slip solution on the top and start from this part, let's start from here. Let's go 
sideways. I always like to finish this top part as soon as possible. Because it's easy, very easy to get dirt falling from it from top. When I lock top part, now I will focus on this bottom part. Okay. Let's start from the middle. You know, main goal is to push water from under the film without leaving any air bubble or water. See, panel is almost glass, you know, I don't need any tension in any direction. That's why, kind of, you can squeeze like left, right. Or you can go from middle down. Oh, I just got crease. There's not enough slip solution there. Okay, let's reapply. Mix for slip solution mix is very very important for installation. This time I have probably a bit not enough, it's just just enough, but I don't have much time to wait. Now I need to push the water as fast as I can. Because if I'm gonna wait a bit longer, you saw that I got like crease and I needed lift and spray again. If I will have more, so I'm not this is not gonna happen. Okay, let's trim this excess film. Just roughly. Oh, don't want to slide on this surface. Okay, now I will uh, grab my tag solution. One second. My tag solution is water mixed with alcohol. What kind of ratio is depend on product you use. For some products, you don't need alcohol. You need only water mix. Just, just not water mix, just water. Still water works very, very well. For other products, you need add a bit of alcohol. Let's cut off. We have too much film on top. Let's trim it. Right now we will spray the solution. Top edge looks perfect. Now let's focus on this side. Because we wrap around this edge, I will leave a bit extra, extra film. But to do that, ah, this is a very important part because we touched so far in this in this place. I need to do kind of 
us like that. Because you see, I just cut off this this corner. Because if I'm not gonna, not gonna do that, we're gonna have too much film here. It's gonna be kind of bunch of film and I'm not gonna be able to wrap around this edge and this corner. And now I will cut on this edge, on this front door edge. I just, as always, I'm just coring top coat of the film and I'm cutting through when I am off the panel because there's no cut. Yeah. But because I scored top coat, I can do like this. Come on. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, sorry. It went the wrong way. Now I can just rip like that. Be careful because sometimes you know if you lost the way, for example like in this situation, you can start from the top. Again it's not cut it through. I need to find where it's cord and cut through the panel or oh, through the panel <laughs> through the PPF. And then I can rip like this. And now you see I went from the top and I was able kind of to save the spot. Now let's open door. We'll use our tag solution. Um, yeah. Uh, in this situation, you need to read a panel and for example all all this area will go in easily without any problems we have kind of extra material here and here will be fine in this spot we need to do similar like i did here i need to cut this extra film off and then the ppf will fold in because now i'll just look like i will fold like that but i have too much material here. Okay. We'll need to wait till it will dry. Right. Let's cut this off. Still too wet. Let's leave it for later or let's Take our. Okay, I will. After we're gonna heat this this pot and we're gonna seal it. It's gonna look beautiful. Okay, let's finish this, this edge.
The side is done, now let's finish bottom part. Again, I will use my tack solution. You can even use squeegee like this, this is hexi squeegee. Beautiful. Let's wipe water. And now I will trim on this panel just on the edge. This edge will help me to keep straight line. Okay, now after trimming, let's tack this film behind this panel. Just straighten that gap because I have there like a couple millimeters space. Uh, we still have unfinished spot. That's because again we have you see this kind of extra material, and you cannot push around. It's gonna be crease, a huge crease here. With PPF, all what you need to do, same like we done on the top. We need to go just like. Now look where I have cut it. Come on. <laughs> See now we don't have this extra material. I can push around this edge. Kind of a straight cut just with the edge of the panel. And when I pass this the spot I cut it off. Okay, this part is done, bottom is done. Now all what we need to do, the side. Okay. As I explained you before, I will cut on this quarter panel edge. As always, I wanna kind of do this relief cut, and now I will start from here. Okay, because we start from the top, I cut it through all the way and I just want to show you one more time. 
but it's no cut through the film. See? It's no cut marks at all. You can't even see if I have cut it. No? But this is why I didn't did this relief cut and now I can start tearing the panel or tearing the film. That's done. Now let's cut this top part. We still have film just hanging there. I will push with my speed one more time, just in this gap. Yeah, feels feels very well. So now I will start cutting from this end. I will put my knife straight there between rubber and panel and this rubber this kind of gap between rubber and panel uh, helps me to keep straight cut On this end, again, I'm doing this interesting cut. Because, again, now we have this, this spot and we cannot wrap around this edge. It's gonna to be too much material and it's not gonna stay. Film not gonna stay there. We need to cut it off. Push, seal this edge with the squeegee. This is done. Let's open this door and wrap this edge. I will spray my tack solution. my finger. With the palm, finger. Let's clean the water. Now I will use this cloth just to push around this edge. The rag will up absorb the water and PPF will stick straight away. Beautiful. We will come back to this edge a bit later. Uh, when it's gonna dry completely, I will use heat gun and I will seal it from inside. Uh, when I'm saying I will seal it, I will just heat with the heat gun and push with the finger or with the rack just to double check that this edge will stay. Yeah. Now is the time for door cup. I 
we need to cut holes. To cut holes. So always I cutting through of the panel. like I need to snap my blade again because this film have very stiff uh, very tough top coat that's why my blades I need to snap blades way often Okay, now we have these two holes, but I will need to use steamer. Steamer will help to lay this uh, door cup. We can try without steamer, but it will take more time. I will use tack solution just to wash soap from inside. Now we have a lot of water there. <laughs> Let's push it out. Let's check if I can push it without steamer. But I think I will need to use it. Steamer will help a lot. Yeah, let's grab the steamer and do this door cup. Okay, our steamer is on and door cup is still not wrapped. Let's use steamer. tricky because this side have a bit aggressive kind of recess this is why I'm focusing on it I want to finish this part and then I will work from this side to that side oh, let's hold it's made a difference different ways, so you can use squeegee, you can use your finger I use in glove you can do without glove, but for me it slides better with a glove and now you're in this hole kind of pushing out water Probably you can see on the camera that we left tiny tiny water water bubbles. If you can see, they will go away, don't worry about them. Yeah, on this edge we have few of them, but they will go away. Uh, let's finish this this part. So now you see when I steamed with the steamer, it sticks straight away. Why? Because steamer acts with the glue. Um, warm hot glue sticks better which again depend on the brand you use for some brands you don't need steamer so let's check tiny air pocket right there let's push it out you don't need to worry about super straight cut uh, here because handle will go back and will cover everything because everything from the 
this kind of edge, everything will be covered. Most important part is this middle area. And when the handle is off, we don't have any joints. If the handle will be on the car, we will not be able to make it in one piece, definitely. Um, and it's gonna be a tiny gap right here, maybe like five millimeters gap. Because normally templates are made, uh, it's, it's cut, cut here, and you fold it from top part, you're going in, and because this goes inside, here always will be tiny gap and will be kind of ugly, ugly gap, yeah. So, remove handle and do it in one piece. Let's swipe last time and check our panel. Everything looks fine. Let's use this rag and clean this gap. So, last bit left to do, let's turn on our heat gun and let's seal all edges. Okay. I just found air bubble. Just push with the nail. Let's go all around the edges. Let's take it store. Now, as I shown you before, you know this one still is lifted. We need to add a bit of heat and push to the finger. That's it. <laughs> we trapped a bit water straight here. You know what, because we are very close to the edge, let's lift this PPF. Push the water out. That's it. Let's continue sealing this edge. Now we're gonna finish this edge. I don't know if you can show the camera how it looks on the side. See, still a bit lifting. This is where we need to heat.
it, beautiful. I will heat it one more time a bit later when it will dry completely, maybe tomorrow. Because uh, now it's fresh install and it's better to keep this, come back to this panel next day when it dries naturally. But so far, looks good. And I always trying to wrap around this edge till this uh, kind of, not like gap, like uh, recess. Because then when customer will now open the door, you're not gonna kind of grab the film. Film will be, edge of the film will be straight in this gap and you're never gonna catch it. So guys, one more panel is done. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. It's me, Rob Virus, and I will see you next time.